morning everybody today I am headed to a new build 2022 new build to with Tyler inspector Tyler and hopefully I get enough content if I don't I should be able to line up another afternoon job with Brendan and uh, Brendan is doing a 1972 property so uh, should get some good content here the new builds are iffy you never know if they're ready or not but it started at 9 and he still hasn't called to cancel so typically that is good it's like 9 12 now so he's probably working so I'm gonna drive up on him when he's working and hopefully we find some good stuff on this new build and if not I'm gonna go over some of the processes of the stuff we cover anyway so follow along keep watching and uh, let's go check it out One of the first things I caught walking up to the property, I ran into this first because I found Tyler in the backyard. I ran across the condenser and I noticed that the client built a rock wall around the condenser. You typically don't want to do this. You want as much space around your condenser to allow as much airflow as possible to get the best performance out of your HVAC system. One of the next items we noticed on this new build was there was a decent sized crack on the front side of the property. I typically don't like to form an opinion right away. I like to further investigate. So we went into the attic space and tried to look at the framing to make sure there's no gaps or cracks around the framing. And then we'll look around how the water flows around the roof structure too as well. All looked pretty good. You can even see they have a nice negative pan flashing slope on the, on the roof structure. The only bad part is we saw that there was like a low spot on the shingle area and you can see where water has been pooling in this area. So we deemed that the crack formed from just normal settlement of the structure. So there may have been a small crack in the uh, gap in the framing and it settled over time and over two years you got a small crack in that area. This is not a, a major issue. A builder can typically just repoint this and it shouldn't open back up. Completing the roof inspection, we noticed that the roof just needed to be reef sealed in some spots, mainly around the blue boot jacks. The boot jacks were a little soft and they were missing some fasteners that needed some caulking. Pretty minor repair and it's a little early for two years, but we had a really hot summer, which kind of makes sense. I should have said this at the beginning of the video, but this was a one year warranty inspection. So the client has lived in here for a year. So what we always do is we'll go through and do anything that we do on a normal inspection, but we're just re-ensuring them that everything is holding up very well too as well. We check all the penetrations again, we do gas leak tests, We'll go through and look at every possible spot that we can get our eyes on that we do on any other inspection. We don't treat one-year warranties any different, just that we're picky, and but we're picky on every inspection. So you can see Tyler taking a look at the duct work, making sure that everything's held up, everything stayed fastened well. He checked for separation around the coil box. So this is just a quick cover of the attic space of what we look at. Other items we check on the interior is we'll operate the fireplace, do a gas leak test around the fireplace. We'll operate all the fixtures, make sure that the property has enough water pressure to operate more than one fixture at a time. And then we do a full thorough infrared scan of the interior of the structure. Okay, so that was a pretty easy new inspection. I mean, easy is kind of relative in the big picture of things. I, I mean, nothing's ever truly easy but uh, there wasn't anything real major wrong with the property but you always want to follow the same routine no matter if the home looks well put together or not because you never know what you're gonna run across and following that same routine you eventually will come across something everything else was pretty well put together and you can see that we kind of like to go through and check everything so uh, pretty good first inspection I don't know if I'm gonna make it to Brendan or not I'm gonna do my best and uh, we'll see where it goes from there okay I was able to make it out to Brendan it's a 1970s ish property so I should be able to find some good stuff on it I should be able to I can already see some roof stuff walking up so I'm glad I was able to make it let's see uh, Let's see what uh, Brennan has caught. So a uh, really good spot as soon as we showed up is we noticed that there's been some previous foundation work. This is actually good for the client. That means that they have had work done. All houses move in Houston. It's just a matter of when or how. Uh, but 
This one probably moved more than normal and uh, they have re uh, secured the foundation, which is good. All you want to do is make sure you get a hold of the warranty and um, that warranty can help better protect the client in the future. Also, another really great sign is, is it looks like they just replaced the panel box. Let's uh, pop in there and uh, see if we find anything. Inspecting the panel box, we noticed that they had a ground and neutral connected together. Those need to be separated in the box. It can't but not be underneath the same lug. Also, we did a load test in the property and we had two breakers continually tripping. So we definitely need an electrician out to correct these issues. Next item we came across, we noticed that they had a 2009 water heater and they had a few issues. The temperature and pressure relief valve is running up. The pan wasn't installed properly. There's no pan drain line. It doesn't drain outside. And then there was some heavy corrosion at the shutoff. So this needs to be closely monitored. Also, don't forget to always look up and we noticed that there was a water stain in the closet area and a little bit of microbial growth on the ceiling. Okay, if your backyard looks like this, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to eventually get termites. So you always want to remove all the heavy foliage and ivy off your walls or you definitely need a termite treatment because this is too much. Um, the termites love this type of environment and uh, your older property, you're just asking for it. You're asking for it. Okay, I'm on the roof. Uh, there's a little bit of granule loss. I wouldn't say it's at the end of its life yet, but it definitely... Um, I would say when they move in, they start budgeting. You get a few years out of this bad boy, but it definitely needs some maintenance. Some of the, uh, the, the boots are tore up. The flashing needs to be repainted. We are missing a little bit of kick out, which is common. You see me call that out on every single video. But um, with skylights and stuff, you want to pay special attention, especially on the inside. We like to do an infrared scan. It hasn't rained in a few days, but you can typically see some type of staining too as well. So overall, roof not terrible, but it needs to be maintained. And this is gonna be the one of the two number one things that always shows up on your on your report, roof and HVAC. All right, we'll always test a shower pan test and I'm doing a before. I am pretty sure that's gonna leak. Look at this drain. Look how it's installed. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get a shower pan test leak. A few other items we found on the interior. We had a faucet leaking whenever it was on. So, and then also this, the handle isn't installed very well either. Easy spot for water intrusion. We had some weather strip damage on the door. And then we noticed that they had some prior repairs to the plumbing in the attic space. Prior pairs indicate that they had some water leaking issue. And we noticed that the pipes the copper pipes are starting to blacken and corrode. So this is indication that they are going to have future issues too as well. The blackening of the pipes indicates that they have some, some sort of electrolysis happening in the structure and it causes the pipe to fail, even copper pipes over a period of time. In the attic space, we started to identify some active water leaks. So now our opinion of the roof is definitely changing more. And then we noticed the range exhaust vent had the wrong type of material and is pulled loose. Then this is a funny spot. They completely installed the insulation wrong. They installed it on top of a, the decking and this is going to accomplish nothing. So easy thing to report on. Okay, I always think it's funny whenever we're recording these videos, you could see how my opinion changes over the property as I inspect it. You know, at first I'm like, oh, the roof isn't that bad and then by the end of the inspection, you're like, all right, you definitely need a roofer out because you have some water leaks, you know, your, your skylights are leaking and stuff like that. So it's really important whenever you're inspecting, if you're an inspector watching this, never tell your client the opinion of what your problem is until the very end of the inspection, because you're gonna get up there and get off the roof and be like, hey, your roof's fine. And then you get in the attic space and you see a giant rotting spot. So make sure what you do is just give your opinion at the end of the inspection. And that's the most in important part. So there you go. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and you can, uh, you can catch us on the next one and uh, I'll keep pumping out the videos. All right, see you guys. Bye.